It is election eve, and some in Metro Detroit will be voting tomorrow on whether cannabis shops should be allowed in their neighborhood. Birmingham voters will see that on their ballot tomorrow. Those shops are some real money makers. Michigan brought in about $325 million in tax revenue from medical and recreational sales in 2022. That was a 30% jump over 2021. But not everyone is ready to roll out the welcome mat. CBS News Detroit's Luke Laster is just back from Birmingham. So what are people saying? Residents are able to vote tomorrow on the proposed amendment. So we went to one of the neighborhoods there in Birmingham in three of the potential zoning areas. Here's what one local business owner had to say. I'm thinking not. Birmingham resident and business owner Yvette Cobb is not completely on board with bringing cannabis to Birmingham communities. Cobb is the owner of Yoga for Life Center in Birmingham. Her business, according to the city, is in one of the three potential zoning areas where one medical and one recreational cannabis establishment could operate if residents vote yes on the proposed amendment. I think there, if there's a lot of medicinal purposes for a cannabis. I just, I just don't want the unwanted um, traffic. Cobb is not opposed to cannabis in the slightest. She tells me that on top of owning the Yoga for Life Center, she's a family nurse practitioner, giving her the opportunity to see the benefit it can bring to those who truly need it. She believes safety might also become a concern. Not only um, are there business here, this is a community. People live here. A lot of people have dogs. They walk in all types, all times of the night night in, in, in more early morning. Cobb says she does believe in a diversity of businesses coming to the area, but she prefers it stay on Woodward and not in any of the neighborhoods. I think it would be a, um, a assets to uh, the Birmingham community on a on a larger area, not in the small residential area, but on a main street. I think it would be um, OK. Now, the exact language found on the ballot and the other potential zoning locations in Birmingham can be found now on CBSNewsDetroit.com. All right, big day. We'll be reporting on those results, of course, tomorrow and in the coming days. Thanks, Luke.